have an iPad Pro 9.7. Let me be clear up front with these. Uh, sometimes I get some confusion over this. I only do these for shops currently. Uh, the reason why I only do them for shops is because they do this, the disassembly and they remove, they remove the screen, they remove the board from the housing, things that I don't have a lot of experience or, you know, almost no experience doing. So, uh, so at this time, I'm not accepting them as a direct, um, uh, for direct repair. <laughs> Uh, so I recommend you find somebody local to do these. I'm just showing you how a, a method for removing and putting the ports on. I'm not doing this as an advertisement for a service other than business to business. Okay. So let's perform a test on this one. Quick test. See if I can get it to do it. It seems to be misbehaving. Try again. Why are you not performing a test? There we go. Whoa, it uh, passed the dock test. Okay, that's interesting. It passed everything. Why is this here? Hmm. Very interesting. Let me grab the Super Crap Fest ICC Pro. See if we get the same thing. Hopefully this battery is still working. Functionally, the ICC Pro is okay, other than the fact that it will sit there and drain the battery and then forget how to recharge it. So that's annoying. All right, let's try again. Okay, so this one says check dog flex. So, okay, we're going to change it. For some reason, I'm getting different readings on it, but that's enough of a reason for me to change it, I think. Unplug the battery so it doesn't act like a retard. And we'll go ahead and change this. So, we need to do some prep. Strange that the it passes one and doesn't pass the other. That's different. But that's why it's handy to have two, even if one of them is kind of a piece of. I'm not going to say nice things, so I'm not going to say anything. Let's remove these stickers. Assuming I can remove this sticker. Being a little stubborn. Okay, and it doesn't have a plastic piece. And so I will move this thing to. Really have to be 
have some more focus on this. I'm not entirely sure I'm going to use hot air on this. I think I might try a different method. But, but I know my method works. So there's a little reluctance in that. But I think this method works too. Let's see if we can get this sticker in one piece. The edge here. I like to reuse these stickers when I can. They look a little better than Capton usually. Usually. I am usually a low melt guy, and I defend that in most cases. But if I can avoid using hot air on something that has like stickers and stuff that melts very easily, I will definitely try a different method. So, what we're going to do. On this one, we're just going to flood with regular leaded, and we'll try and remove it with our iron. And I think I will stick with my big chisel for this part. If this works, I will not have to really do any cleanup also, which is appealing. With low mount, you definitely have to do cleanup. So we will flood with leaded. Here, and I guess I ought to put you guys on the microscope where you could actually see. My bad. And focus you in a way that you can see. Probably the best I can get as far as zoomed out. everything is covered and then we're going to gently very gently begin prying it just with the iron we hope and there may be some stickiness I love it when they use I already kind of tell you I'm a little wary. All right, that went actually really smooth. Didn't pull any pads. So that's a new or a different method. Uh, I think I picked this up from a uh, you know what, I'll look up his channel and I'll give him credit here at some point in the video. Because I don't want to bungle up his name.
All right. Try start tester first. A quick test. Okay, it's passing, but it passed the last time too. So. I can't see what I'm doing. Sorry. Okay, so we're showing pass on the TriStar tester. Now, it passed the last time, so I am definitely going to do a second test with the ICC Pro. All right, try again. Okay, looks everything likes everything uh, is passing. So I don't know that you can see that, but. Yeah, it tests out okay. okay. So that one is done. That is the new method I'm going to be using on these. I have three to do tonight. I will probably record all the videos and post them eventually. Uh, that's all I had to show you. Um, like and subscribe if you like what you see. Um, you know, hit the notification bell so you'll know when I post videos. And thanks for watching. See you next time. And then my bad, I totally said I was going to give credit to the guy whose video I watch. Uh, his channel is called Micro Repairs LTD. Micro Dash Repairs. Uh, that's who I watched do this method, and I, was, I told him I was going to try it. And this is me trying it. Uh, give him a, you know, give him a, a watch, and if you like him, subscribe. Again, thanks for watching. See you next time.